says is use the Mario outlines to stitch a graphic. And well, that, that pretty much just explains the entire game. But sewing? Why would anyone make a sewing game for, for Mario? First of all, you can kind of see the Wombi logo, which is some other side to it. It's kind of a girl side, so kind of humiliating to be reviewing this game with some girl girl side. Anyway, just like Mushroom Guy and some other game, you can't wait for some stupid ad. You know, why are all the games just wait for the ads to finish? Why are they all on page two of the games? Uh, I don't even know why I'm reviewing this. Anyway, you see some news crap down here. I'm just going to close that out. So. Make sounds when you're all over it. Anyway, there's two graphics for each thing. I've only done the easy ones, the two easy ones. The easy ones are the mushroom and Mario. The medium ones are the Peach and Luigi. And the really hard ones are Mario kicking a shell and Mario Peach and Mario doing his little two finger pose. It's just you do the mushroom. All right, there. Kind of. There's. This is a reset, so you can go back to the select your thing, so that's kind of pointless. Now, if you want to hear the news, if you're a girl, just click that or that. Okay, Turbo is where, like, you don't have to click repeatedly, it'll just do it automatically if you scroll over something, press space, or to turn it on and off. But that can get annoying, though, if you don't want to in the wrong spot. This is kind of what your, fit, your completed product will be like, and this is an outline, so you can see what colors you need. And there's like 15 different colors over here. One. Okay, correct me in that. 17 different colors over here. Okay, for the mushroom, we'll need this. And just click where you want to put it. And that kind of takes a while, which I guess is why there's a turbo feature. But like I said, I can get a little haywire and go to places you don't want it to go. Uh, I don't even know why I filmed this this late. It's 9.45 at night, I'll just let you know. And I only have nine more days of summer vacation left. Uh, uh, sucks. Uh, okay, see, now that's what it kind of looks like. Alright, now we probably want to go with this color. There's only one other g game on this website, on supermarkets.org, that's meant for girls, and it's from, the, but it's from a different website that's still kind of girly. It's called Peach's Pitch. Don't know if you've ever played that. I don't know when that review will come. Now we want white. I'm humming the Super Mario Brothers thing if you don't know what that is. All those clicking kind of gets on your nerves in a few seconds. Uh, uh, if you want to undo the click, uh, undo a stitch, just click on somewhere that's already stitched. And that's basically it. I've pretty much just explained the entire game in like a minute. Okay. See what it looks like in a few seconds. And sometimes you accidentally undo your stitch, and that can get annoying. Alright, that looks like a mushroom, sort of. Let's do black. Uh, 
Oh, and for some reason, the game programmer thought it would be a good idea, even though it's kind of a pointless idea, to do stitches outside of the drawing. Uh, just thought I'd let you know. So, once you finally completed your sew, your sewing, let's see what it looks like. I guess it's a girl's game because sewing's more of a girl's thing, not to be sexist. Anyway, it's that looks pretty good. That looks that looks great. Hope I don't sell in real life. All right, I I just don't feel like doing any more stitches though, because I've pretty much already explained the game. And I don't know what this mushroom thing up here is for. It absolutely does nothing, even if you click to your heart's content. 